Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure an automated trading bot on the Mudrex platform, and we're going to use TradingView alerts to trigger buy and sell signals uh, using the Ichimoku cloud indicator. And the pairs I'll be trading will be BTC USDT on the Binance exchange. But before we get into all of that, if you're not familiar with Moodrex, it is a platform that allows you to configure and build your own automated crypto trading bots. And they also offer Moodrex Invest, which is where you can find other strategies built by other traders and invest in those strategies. But today we would be doing the Moodrex build where we create our own strategies and you can actually start for free, $0. It would not cost you anything to actually deploy the strategy I show you today. Now, if you want to upgrade for $16 a month, you get a few bonus features like unlimited monthly backtesting. You get a faster tick resolution of one minute versus 15. So for $16 a month, that's not a bad investment. And I'll put a link in the description down below. If you use that link, you'll also get $25 free upon signing up. And you can use that $25 bonus to actually pay for your monthly trial and still have a little bit left over. Now, before I get into the actual configuration of the strategy, let me show you what I'm actually looking at when I'm deploying this strategy utilizing the Ichimoku cloud. And I'm basically using the baseline and the conversion lines to trigger buy and sell signals. Uh, in this case, the blue line represents the conversion line. The yellow line represents the baseline. And what I'm looking for is the blue line to cross above the yellow line, the conversion line crossing above the baseline. And you can see back here on Bitcoin in this region is where it crosses over and we're able to ride this whole move up. And once it starts going sideways, your indicators start to converge. And if this is to break down, we would get stopped out, but yet capture this great move up and we could then look for the next opportunity to enter and the settings that I'm going with on this particular indicator again you would just come up to your indicators and click on your indicator tab and add the Ichimoku cloud and the settings that I have set up are going to look like conversion line 18 periods baseline 52 periods this is basically double Again, these figures are based on a recommendation from one of my viewers, John, and lagging span period time of 104, and then displacements not actually double, uh, defaults 26, and we've got it at 30. And then I actually turn off all this other noise, the cloud and everything else. I'm just interested in these two particular lines. So hit OK, and that's how we end up with these two moving lines and now that you can see what I'm looking at as far as the strategy goes we need to configure the strategy and actually we'll be using the alerts this tab right here from trading view to trigger buys and sells but first we need to jump over to Mudrex to our strategy tab and click on new strategy and we're going to use external signals so now we need to name our strategy. So I'm just going to name it Trading View or TV Ichi. And the exchange will be Binance. The market will be USDT. And then the asset will be Bitcoin or BTC. And then we're going to generate a unique user ID in order to populate that Trading View alert message area. And so now we've got our webhook, which we'll need. And we have our unique user ID. So the first thing I'm going to copy is this webhook, the URL. And so I copy that, jump back over to Trading View, and I need to put my webhook URL right under where it says webhook URL and paste that in there. Now, as far as the conditions, I need to go with my Ichimoku conversion line crossing up so we're looking for that conversion line to cross up through the Ichimoku baseline 
and that is going to be a buy trigger. So Ichimoku is the indicator, conversion line crossing up through the Ichimoku baseline. Got my web hook put in, and that's going to send the trigger to Mudrex. And now I need the message for what I want it to actually do. So I delete what's actually there, and Mudrex offers a variety of codes that you can use to trigger buys and sells, stop losses. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and copy their sample message. And I'm going to change a few things, obviously. And I'm going to paste that in. And I need to change the ID to the ID they assigned to me. So I'll copy that. And now my ID, and you'll want to verify, go back and take a look and verify that you copied the whole ID. And now I have my ID in place. The action that I want to take place is a long entry. And then I could set a stop loss if I so chose. Now I'm not going to because my exit is going to be a separate alert that I set up. And that's going to be strictly based on the conversion line crossing down through the baseline. And so I'm going to actually delete this stop loss exact price and you can actually make this exact percentage as well and you don't you could just put in 3% and you don't have to put in the percent symbol. You would just put 3 in this place or exact price of $333 or in Bitcoin's case maybe you want to stop out if it dips down below 15,000. But we're not I'm not going to actually use this code so we'll delete that code and take profit trailing. I could do a trailing profit and I would put true. And then down below, you could see take profit trailing limit value. Again, I could do a percentage and it can be an exact percentage or a number. But again, I'm not using any of the take profits because again, I'm going to close my position based on the Ichimoku baseline and conversion lines. So my code is going to be very simple. It's going to be my ID and a long entry. And I just click create. And if you click over on the little alarm clock on the right hand panel, you'll now see that I have an active alert ready to go. But I need to set up my sell alert as well. So I need to build another alert. And in this case, the Mudrex webhook URL is already in place. I do need to go to my Ichimoku. In this case, I want the conversion line crossing down through the Ichimoku baseline. So the previous one was up, going up. And now once the market starts turning down, I want to get out. And I need to go capture my message. So I want to go grab and copy. And again, I need to paste in my ID. So I need to go grab that. And I can't stress enough how important it is when you're copy and pasting, go back, verify these numbers that you copied and paste the correct numbers. And instead, and for action, instead of long entry, I want it to be long exit. So I just change that to exit. I'm going to wipe out the rest of the code because I'm only using the indicator for buys and sells. I wiped out a little too much code, so I better add that little piece back in. And it's good to go. I hit create, go back over to my alarm clock. I now have the two alerts, one buy, one sell, or one entry and one exit. And now that those are all set, I'm ready to deploy this bot. So I just go to live trades and start live run and then i choose the binance exchange and starting balance i give this bot let's say we give it 500 dollars, and we'll click next and it just wants to make sure you want to continue and we're starting the live run so now we've got this bot running live we just wait for the trading view alerts to trigger buys and sells and go from there it is really that simple and i can't say enough about how easy it is to configure your own trading bots on the mudrex platform
So if you want to see updates on how this particular bot is doing or any of my other bots, I do updates on a regular basis. Now would be a good time to subscribe. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave those down below in the comment section. I do try to read through all the comments. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.